Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is Devupal. So in this video, I am going to discuss about what is the difference between client side validations and server side validations. Okay. So if you are a developer, either backend developer or frontend developer, so you might be here this term. So you need to validate the form as a frontend developer and as a backend developer you need to validate the entity right so nothing but a first one is client side validations that is one and second side is server side validations okay so why this is important so first of all let's understand the importance of these two validations first of all first of all this kind of a validations always it helps the user experience right and also it's faster and easier for the user and second thing this type actually validations if you apply both the client side and the server side so what will happen so your applications will be more reliable and it's a very less security concern why because let's say if you apply it certain validations only the server side and you didn't provide any validations in the client side then what will happen any user so they can actually send a, any malicious uh, strings or informations to the server side so now what will happen so when it will reach to the server so again if there is a no validations for this one in the server side then unnecessarily data will be you know impact your server side code right so that is the one of the advantage and third things i can say so if you done these validations at the top layer so you are filtering the data and the top layer just think in the font level so what is happening only the good input is coming to the server so that is means less overhead actually happening in the server side because before that you have actually not allowing the user to send any traffic to the server side right so that is another important and anything related to server side only validations always it's a slower process why slower process because user has to be submit the form then server will return okay so no 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 this mail id uh, uh, format should be like this you cannot send this or might be phone number instead of 10 digit you have sent you know 11 digit number so they can uh, return the error after certain point of time but if you apply the validations in the client side okay so this phone number field only contains the number and it's a 10 digit character so then definitely it should block and it user will get a good experience right so now let's talk about service side and client side validations so now as you can see in this field so normally whenever you are trying to post something on the server there is a some input box okay and there is a submit button or sign up button whatever it is so that is basically needs to be done some validations so now in this case so you can use any ui technologies like a javascript ajax in order to validate the client side part so at the first times you are saying client okay boss so uh, if you are providing the mobile number this should not contains any alphabet character and also let's say if you are actually uh, giving you the options to user okay set the password and now that password might be length is three character so you are saying to the user okay no boss at least you have to give a eight character with the combinations of upper letter lower letter and a special character and number so that is actually helps the user for a good experience right so as i mentioned javascript as you can actually use as a client side validation this is important to filter unnecessarily junk data to bypass to the server side okay and now server side validations you can see in this picture so it is directly coming to that your server applications code so normally if you are developing your server side application java using python.net 
or any others you know programming language so then there is a we can call it as a main entity class or bin class so normally what data you are going to be insert in the database right so now in this case let's say customer data and now customer name so we want that customer name should be a it contains a string there should not be any uh, letters and also customer mail id so there should be some format might be there is a minimum length maximum length you can add all those validations so in, in case of java there is a java validations uh, framework so you can use that one or even you can write your custom bin validations annotations right to make sure your server side um any junk data let's say somehow it's bypassed from the client side at least you can protect through that validation so what happened so somebody is using that ui so now you have done that client side validation that's completely fine but if that guy is not using the ui might be that guy using some api or might be that guy is using some call command right some call command through the command line and api so then if you won't validate in the server side what will happen again that guy will bypass this one right since they are using a api call directly and in server side also there is a no validation so unnecessarily data will impact in your applications or server so hope this is clear to you so let me slightly give you certain difference between server side and client side validations okay so point number 1 in client side validations you can see input validations error recovery all those can be done and finalized through the java script or ajax and in server side validations also you can done through some other server code like java python all those factor okay and server side validations is little bit slower and client side validations is faster and client side validations you can easily bypass through any sort of ui right i mean uh, api call but server side validations you cannot bypass unless until your server will be hacked right so client side validations as i mentioned is uh, increase you know customer experience and server side validations it increase the customer trust and make your applications more efficient so that's all in this video hope this uh, will help you in order to understand the client side validations and server side validations still if you have any doubt just let me know in the comment sections don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe my youtube channel thanks for watching my video bye